Okay, before we even start, we're going to yes, be sir. talking about vulgar <laughs> channels versus clean <laughs> channels. And it, I have warned Shane like 18 times, uh -huh, yeah. try not to cuss on this because I don't edit these. So warning if you have children watching and you're not down with cussing, I know I'm, you come to us for cleanliness, <laughs> but uh, we don't know how that's gonna go today. I'm gonna try my best, all right? I really truly am, but yeah. it's, I, I even slip around my grandma, no which I try, I try, it's so Just hard, it's so pretend hard. pretend I'm your grandma with Jesus side by side. I'm sure, I, that's what I'm gonna try, but it's, I already did earlier, but we'll see, we'll see okay. what we can do. Well, well, let's let's get into it and kind of talk why mm -hmm. you're here. This is Shane, by the mm -hmm. way. If you don't know him, he's from a channel called The Fu Game Crew. So as you yeah. can imagine, uh, it's funny <laughs> we're we're in the same world. We love video games, yeah. retro stuff, uh, but we're we we've, we've been talking and we're pretty much polar opposites to when it comes to our channels, the way we present them. We're kind of known as like the clean, family friendly. You mm -hmm. guys definitely, you guys are like a news channel, video game updates and stuff like that. But yeah. you're very your name's the FU Game Crew. You guys, mm -hmm. language, you're extremely, say whatever you want to say, which yeah. I think is absolutely great. I got, <laughs> yeah, I have some pretty vulgar characters. We actually did a, um, I don't know, if it, like, we did a sex offender character once, uh, which, uh, <laughs> I don't know if we can say that, but we, uh -huh. did, <laughs> we did do that. Your kids um, now, I warned you. <laughs> uh, we, uh, well, it's not a cuss word, right? That's just like yeah. a, a fact of life that yeah, this yeah, is yeah, a okay. thing that exists, but true, it's not true, a good true, thing. True, but true. Yeah, yeah. we did, we did do that character once, and we also have, you know, sometimes we show like underwear on screen with poop stains on it, and just random. Yeah. Just we like to be a little out there. And a lot wacky. of adult things. Now, yeah, a lot of adult things. I guess the, the immature adult things. But well, the yeah. reason I wanted to ask you about it, Shane, is because I genuinely mm -hmm. don't know because we've been running this channel clean our whole lives. Mm -hmm. um, you guys have been running your guys your way your whole life. So mm -hmm. I've been curious to know, like, what have been the pros of you guys doing this? Maybe recently okay. with Kappa, you guys being like, we're definitely not a kid's channel. Yeah. And then what have been <laughs> the cons sure. where it's that scary time where everyone's like, if you're bad, you're going to be demonetized. Tell me kind of if you've actually seen results, <laughs> the law been laying down, what? Let me hear it. Uh, well, okay. So we started our channel in like t late 2014. It was like October 2014, I think. Okay. Um, and we had no idea what we were doing. We originally started just doing let's plays, like what we were doing. It was just me and my friends. And we were like, we just like watching YouTube gaming and stuff like that and everything. So we we're like, let's make our own YouTube channel because we hang out, talk about video games. We do all this anyways. Might not, might as well like you know, we make we've been making skateboarding videos for way, way, way longer than yeah, that. Yeah. We're like, well, yeah. we love video games just as much. Let's do something with that. Yep. And so we started that. But um, at around 2014, people weren't really worried about. Uh, you know, demonetization and stuff like that. You get away with some wild stuff in 2014, like Filthy Frank. Just look at all these older channels oh, that were making yeah. Yeah. tons of money back then, even with being, you know, outrageous. So it was not a problem back then, and we were just being us. And uh, as time went on, like throughout the years, or they would put in new policies and stuff like, oh, well, you know, these type of videos are going to not make as much money as these type of videos. And then so YouTubers would start censoring themselves more and more and stuff like that. But like, I personally don't like doing that and i i'm doing youtube for fun i don't make like any money off of it basically yeah. and we like really never have yeah. uh so i was like i mean i might as well do it the way i want to do it and not try to cater to something or the algorithm or whatever to to make money because it's like gonna just suck the fun out of it and like yeah i don't want to do it if it's not fun basically so but uh have you guys I ever got like any sort of law laying down on you to where it's like hey you did get a strike here i don't know if that's um, really much of a thing anymore but I know it we, used to be a thing where three strikes you're out. Yeah, well, we have gotten copyright strikes for random stuff and also like fraudulent copyright strikes where it's a company claiming something they clearly don't own. But uh, as far as like strikes for like being outrageous, just some videos get demonetized. <laughs> like uh, some of the Shane reviews that I've done, you know, like yeah. where they're kind of outrageous and I'm yelling and I'm really like just bombastic in the camera, like just over the top. Uh, some of those have gotten demonetized for, um, what does Google call it? It's like extreme, like it's just like ex like extreme. The content's too extreme. I don't know what it's called exactly, but uh, <laughs> Google is- They'll make up anything. Yeah, they demonetized uh, quite a few videos saying that they were like too outrageous, I guess. Like, they're like, well, we can't be promoting this, I guess, or whatever. Um, and I actually, every time I would make like a video where we put a lot of editing and stuff into it, I would try to promote them through like Google, like ads or whatever it was and right. everything. And every single one I've ever tried has been denied. <laughs> every single really? one. Always, yeah. And never, ever has one been approved. They've always been denied. And uh, it always says like the same thing, like this content is too 
outrageous. I can't remember the exact terminology, but That's they say so like it's funny. It's too outrageous. Yeah. I know you can't think yeah. of the word, but you're too outrageous. That seems like yeah. such a weird, silly thing. Um, yeah, it, it, it's similar to like being outrageous. Like it was too, it's just too like, there's just so much yelling and in your face and I'm cussing so much. Like yeah. those videos, I'm really just going all out just being a character basically, not even me, but I do cuss a lot in real life. Uh, so it's yeah, hard so you're to... being you, you're being you. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what's important to keeping this. And especially mm -hmm. you saying that you don't do this for a living. Mm -hmm. um, how do I, I, this is a compliment. I take, I say this as mm -hmm. a compliment. Your guys news comes mm -hmm. off as you do it because yeah. you like it and you do it because you guys enjoy it. It's not, yeah. it doesn't come off like your, your typical news that is run by some guy in a suit who is mm -hmm. like, Hey, this is the way you should report the news because yeah. that's the cool way. Mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's the way that uh, we do news. That's the way you properly mm -hmm. do news. Yeah. Uh, a lot of YouTubers do it. They have like a very, very similar style where they try to sound professional, try to prevent it, uh, present it professionally. And like, you know, it, it all kind of like, it's all like, it's the same information from this guy in the same format as this guy in the same format as this guy. So when I present the news, I don't really consider myself, you know, reporter. Obviously, I'm not reporting anything. I'm just giving you my opinion on stuff, and I'm not like. Sometimes people say like, "You're a terrible journalist." I'm like, you know what a journalist is? I'm not writing anything. I'm not. Yeah. I'm literally just telling you what I've seen and what I think about it. Yeah. Uh, and I want to put my personality into that and put a, a comedic twist on it to try to make yeah. people laugh. It's more about entertainment than the actual knowledge or information for when yeah. for when i'm doing my like news show or whatever have you seen so us from the beginning again being clean mm -hmm. the whole time you guys being vulgar since the beginning when you guys mm -hmm. look at like your demographic what's your guys demographic uh i think it's mostly people like mid like mid 20s to like mid 30s i think is our biggest demographic okay. i'm pretty sure um whatever that i think it's like the 35 cap whatever that goes down to i think that's our biggest one uh we have some older people as well than that. There's actually, I mean, like everybody has like older people than that, but I think that's maybe just people lying in their thing. Like, it'd be like there's like 65 year olds or something. Like, I don't think any of their 65 year olds are watching this. Yeah, it's, maybe so, it's, it's probably someone who more than likely who's signed yeah. in using that account. Yeah. yeah um, for, but go ahead. Not too many kids. Not too many kids. We do have some, though. I was going to say for us I, on our old channel, uh, Retro Liberty, we did like a community mm -hmm. thing one time where we're like, hey, let us know, like, send in a video what you think about the retro gaming community. Mm -hmm. and, being a channel that was, you know, pretty much always been known as clean, we were mm -hmm. shocked by, you know, let's say 200 people sent in videos. I'd say 80% of those were people that were 11 years old, 11 year old kids, <laughs> which was really cool yeah. for us to see in one sense. I was like, wow, yeah. this is, this, these are kids who are interested mm -hmm. in retro gaming. And yeah. At the same time, it really let me, not saying necessarily that's who just watches us, but it was, for us, it was like, okay, because I have kids, it's different for me to, you know, to kind of be like, for me, I was happy because I don't know, I guess as a dad, I'm like, oh, that's cool. They felt safe trusting us, mm -hmm. you know, to watch their stuff, which it's, uh, you know, I don't know. You take it however, it's just so weird because we're so opposite. Uh -huh. Yeah, I get um, complaints in the comments almost every single video oh, of people it. going like, that. oh, you need to stop cussing so much. Or like, it'll either be kids or parents. It'll be like, oh, I can't watch this because my kids are in the room or something like that. So I had to turn your video off because you cuss too much. Yeah. Or kids will be like, you need it. Why are you cussing so much? Like you need to stop doing that. And it's just like almost every single video I get yeah. those, yeah. but I'm just like, I mean, it's the real, if you go out into the real world, you're not going to be like at Walmart and be Absolutely. like, excuse me, you need to stop cussing. I mean, it's going to happen, but that person is going to be like, get out of here. What are you doing? Like, this yeah. is, we're in the real world right now. Like it's, if you don't like it, just don't just leave. You know what I mean? And no one's and, forcing you to watch the YouTube channel. And that's what I say. And sometimes mm -hmm. I, and even being a channel who is clean, I get mm -hmm. when parents say things like, Oh, my kid watches this. And my kid's been watching mm -hmm. this. My kid's been watching this. I wish he wouldn't. I'm like, you know, you're the parent. Yeah. You can exactly, tell your kid yeah. you're not allowed to watch that or not. Mm -hmm. You know? And I think that's just, uh, laziness on the parenting side. Yeah. I've seen that so much. I'm not going to tell you, hey, F you game uh -huh. don't exist because my kid might be able to watch you. You know what <laughs> exactly, I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Like, no. um, it's really weird. And I mean, just complaints in the comment in the comment section in general are, I think it's really funny. It's like, why would you, why, people will go on like a whole paragraph long rant about like how I am a terrible, I'm terrible at what I do. Like, well, you're so bad at this and that and this and everything. Like, what do you want me to do with that information? I'm supposed to yeah. be like, well, thanks, man. I oh, appreciate it. Oh, let me show it. up like, in a suit and tie yeah. in my next video right? for you, you know? I used to wear a little suit jacket, actually. I remember that. For the news. Yeah, but the, um, way, you, but the way you present it. But I did it. It was like a joke, not, yeah. 
you could yeah it's not like yeah. as soon as you mm -hmm. start talking it's like oh mm -hmm. this isn't what yeah. it's like if you watch uh i can't remember his name on thrasher but there's this a skate line maybe. yeah skate line mbd with the uh, yeah yeah and he wears like a little suit but the minute he talks you're like okay mm -hmm. he's not actually yeah. being serious about this mm -hmm. uh, for me i'd say you guys are probably if i'm honest the only news channel i watch mm -hmm. because i can't deal with the, the, even if it's, you know, proper, the word fake news is not what mm -hmm. I mean, but I can't deal with mm -hmm. the, the fake sense of like, yeah, I know I, exactly. I'm a gamer here to tell yeah. you. And it's like, I'm sure you are. Yeah. I'm sure you actually are. Yeah. But I've been at companies before mm -hmm. where I've had the guy, the guy in the suit with the multi million dollar house mm -hmm. tell me how to do gaming news because that's how kids <laughs> want to hear it. Yeah. Like, ah, oh. it's just, I don't know. It has a hard, and I yeah, think people are doing it for a living. That's fine. That's awesome. Great. Mm -hmm. Again, before, let me back off and say it. So mm -hmm. cool you're doing it for a living. Amazing if you've made it your career. That is awesome. But you can almost tell when someone's doing YouTube for a living. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. Because they'll cater and they'll make sure they don't say certain things and they'll do th they'll do things in a certain way because they know it's going to work better for this and that. And they're always working the algorithm and doing this and everything. Yeah. I, uh, I just like to just be outrageous. I like to yeah. make people laugh and, and have a good time. Like I said, it's not about the information and, and everything that I present because I get stuff wrong all the time. People in the that's, comments that's are like, just, uh, actually, it's, this is how it's supposed to, this is actually what you, you said this and that. And I'm just like, I'm just, why are you taking me seriously right now? I'm just, I'm <laughs> Do you making see fun what of I'm it. Doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. I, I'm literally telling people all that all the time. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, don't take me serious. I'm just joking about stuff. It's like, yeah. it's like someone watching like weekend update on SNL and being like, actually, they got the news wrong. It's I know. Actually like this. It's like, Honestly. It's, first and foremost is comedy. Yeah, it's uh, you know, don't come here. if you want to get information, go watch Spawn Wave or someone like that. That's that knows exactly they what know they're talking stuff. about. Yeah, they and that's doing what they study. The and and that's, yeah, but if you're coming for a good time, we'll get some gaming yeah. opinions news. That's what you know. Exactly, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. But I don't like being called a gaming channel under gaming news channel because yeah. I try to do a lot of stuff that's not news yeah. related, but it yeah. just I suck at editing, so it takes so long. And I have so much fun doing the news. I can do those every day and really enjoy it. And like genuinely laugh while I'm making I cut out a lot of the laughs because sometimes I'll like laugh for like 10 seconds with my head down on the desk and I'm like <laughs> I have to like obviously it's cut too that much, out yeah, at some yeah. Point, yeah um and I just it's like so fun to do so I crank those out more than anything just because I genuinely enjoy it. it's easy to make and everything yeah. so I do that but I would much rather like make more skit stuff but yeah I just made a new skit video the new little niece the little niece character that yes. I do I just made a new one uh, for snowboard kids and that took yeah. me five days of editing because I would do like a minute of editing uh, each day, like one minute of the video. It's like five minutes long. So it took me like five days. Um, yeah. Go search it for a, go search it when you're done watching this video. It's my favorite thing on your channel right now. It's, it's a pretty outrageous. The snowboard kids one is the best one so far, but I would love to do more stuff like that. But it, like I said, it just takes a long time. So I can really only get like two or three out a month if I really try yeah. Yeah. because well, I have I other you, stuff yeah. I have to do. You know what I mean? Like well, I have, I feel, yeah to do stuff outside of YouTube like every day, like a lot. Life. Um, yeah, and that's yeah, content life, yeah. in general. We're in the mm -hmm. same place with mm -hmm. NES Pursuits. We can't do them right now. We're literally yeah. not, there, no swap meets are open, no retro game stores are open. There is no game hunting happening. So I'm like, yeah, yeah well, we'll do this for a while and have some fun with it. Well, uh, you're not gonna like my, my second thought or question then because I said- <laughs> No, 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 I do like your second question. Well, it's, okay. I still do so like you're it because I wanted to break that down. You're not technically a news channel, but you do mm -hmm. deliver news in a way that, Mostly. that, I, pers that mm -hmm. I personally enjoy. Yeah. Again, you mentioned guys like Spawn Wave, mm -hmm. the, the guys mm -hmm. who, who know their stuff. This is what they mm -hmm. do. They're dedicated. They're great. Mm -hmm. They're great at it. Yes. What is the struggle of like being in that world with like, okay, being you might not be taken world. as, you might not be taken as serious. You might be yeah. not given mm -hmm. all the perfect facts, mm -hmm. but what, what, what's it like being in okay, that world? Okay. Well, so here's the, here's the thing with that. Um, on my show, I usually make a video around 7 PM, uh, every night and then I can, I can, I can, all I do is go to like all the gaming news sites and I, I look and say, oh, this is interesting. And I'll read the article and I'll go to another news site and I'll read a similar, like an article about this, a same topic or whatever, you know, and I'll just get it, uh, you know, educated for a minute. And I'll be like, if it's something I'm really interested in talking about, I'll put it down as a bullet point and then I'll make bullet points. And I sometimes I'll only have one. Sometimes I'll have like three, sometimes I'll have four, but they're just general topics. Got and then I'll just rant about them. And I don't do thorough research. I literally will just be like, oh, this is interesting. And then I'll just like look and see what it all is. And I won't, I'll forget some stuff that it said in the thing and I'll do this or whatever. But then I'll just rant and rave about it and yell and laugh and have a good time. Uh, but people like Spawn Wave and, and RGT85 and stuff like that, I feel like they get more of the facts. Like they get in there and they actually are like, 
research. You know, they know, that, yeah, they do a lot of research. I don't do like any research pretty much. I just literally just look at stuff and give you my like off the top of my head opinion. So it's like yeah. a, a good bit different. It's almost uh, like reacting. It's almost like reacting a little bit more in, at headlines, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, like Google but, Stadia being whatever for two yeah, months free. But really, free, yeah. like you said, who gives a crap? You know, what's funny is mm -hmm. I posted a community post right after I watched mm -hmm. your video saying mm -hmm. who here plays the Google Stadia. Yeah. And a thousand people voted and 1% said they do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, everyone in the comments was roasting Stadia. But then, of course, you have a couple people like, you never even tried it. Get out of here. And I'm just yeah. like, yeah, I mean, chill. I'm just making yeah. fun of. I'm literally. Don't take me serious. I'm just making fun of stuff. And like, that's what's funny. As uh, us two in our show, mm -hmm. they see what we're like. They see mm -hmm. what you're like, mm -hmm. and then they still are like, "Hey, don't you know this?" And trying to take you. Yeah. Serious. How can you possibly try to take us seriously? Yeah, exactly. It's, I'm clearly just having fun. Like yeah. I'm not trying to be. Also, a funny thing about the news. This is a random just uh, side thing. Yeah. The piece of paper on my desk always looks blank. Yeah. And people always comment about it. Like, why are you holding a blank piece of paper and <laughs> looking at it funny. like there's something on it? And I'm like, there, there's writing on it. It's just an ink pen. It's just kind of thin and the lights like wash out. The, like you can see on the paper, it just looks white. Looks like there's yeah. nothing yeah. on there. Yeah, it looks blank. Um, <laughs> so everybody always says that. And I'm like holding it and looking at it. So that's funny. But what I was saying earlier is I, I get it. I get into filming mode around 6.30 to 7 and I do my bullet points and I film everything and then I edit it, make the thumbnail, post it. I usually have it posted by nine. So it usually takes me about two hours Got it. Uh, all together to make a video. But if I'm at home all day and there's like some big thing, like Nintendo just announces a direct or whatever, I'll try to get on it sooner. So, cause that does Especially help when it's people. something that you're genuinely interested mm, yeah. in. That you yeah. almost like don't have to do research or yeah. look. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I know, I know how I feel about this, you know? Exactly, like the Nintendo directs. Like, and, I, and I'll do that sooner instead of waiting later because like, obviously it's more fun with more, when more people get in on the channel. So I'm like, well, if I get this out sooner, it may, it will probably do better on the algorithm and more people will find the channel and it'll be fun to interact with more people. You know what I mean? The Got more it. people you have, the more fun it is, the bigger the community, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. So um, I like, so that. Yeah, like that. It's like you have that, that balance of like, you want to be somewhat in tune with mm -hmm. when things are happening, mm -hmm. but you also want to make sure that you're still keeping like your passion for YouTube of having fun. Yeah, exactly. I think that's a good balance. I think that's a cool mm -hmm. balance. I think that's why I yeah. enjoy it so much. But uh, yeah, it's fun. I like it. Um, but yeah, the other news channels, uh, if you want actual facts, go there. Do not come to me for any facts or real information. And that's, Only laughs. I'm there with you when people are like, oh, the mm -hmm. retro, you guys should have known this and done. I'm mm -hmm. like, we're here to be stupid and talk I've about seen people history. complain about that on your videos. Yeah. I yes. remember seeing a comment on one of your videos. Someone was like, Oh, I love their format, but I hate, I just hate how they talk and interact yep. and everything. I'm like, yep. imagine if these other guys had this format, this would be so good. I'm like, what? yeah, what? It's like, what? Yep. Like, yeah, it's such a weird thing to say. Like, why are you when, even saying that? When I was on metal Jesus's channel for a few mm -hmm. videos, he like, when he did like his top videos of that year that got the most views or something, mm -hmm. I was in one of them and he mm -hmm. like did a narration telling people like, you think this guy's putting on a show? He's like, no, this is this guy's stupid, goofy, loud, <laughs> annoying in real life as well. So, but yeah. Hey, I have a last uh, topic for us <laughs> that I didn't even tell you about, but you might have seen it on screen because yeah, we are both. We love skateboarding. Mm -hmm. We love yeah. skateboarding. We love mm -hmm. skateboarding that world. I'm gonna pull mm -hmm. it up right here. I've wanted to. I've wanted to skate with you for quite a while, actually. What is your favorite skateboarding favorite video game, skate of all game time? or of all best? Time. Okay, best skate game or favorite skate game? I think, well, I think, I guess, I don't play, I don't like EA Skate, which is like okay. blasphemy, right? I know. I do like Skate, I'll be honest. Everyone loves EA Skate, even not even non-skateboarders. Yeah. Like, all of my friends love EA Skate that skateboard. Like, tons of people that I know that don't skate like EA Skate. Yep. But I just never got into it because, like, every time I would play it, it just, I don't like the realisticness of it, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, where you have to, like, move all the thumbsticks around and do all this stuff. Okay, I'm like, I'd, I get I'd that. rather just actually go skate outside, I get that. but I love- well, put, take this into consideration before you keep going on then. Okay. Shane is very good at skateboarding. You're a good <laughs> skateboarder. I've watched your skate videos. I mm. consider, I used to be a very good skateboarder ever mm. since I hit 25. I haven't never recouped <laughs> from all the breaking knees and breaking elbows and arms. So, Damn, you're, oh, cuss. Yeah. No, that's good. Oh, hey, that's good. I didn't even realize you haven't cussed yet. Great mm. job. Uh, 
yeah so you're very good at skateboarding your whole crew is very good at skateboarding mm -hmm. uh it's, it's something i yeah. really like about your channel too is you guys mm -hmm. have that we have that in common mm -hmm. as well but uh, yeah i just want to throw have, that out we have some skateboarding channels too i don't know if you've ever seen oh, our yeah, skate have. channels yep. actually yeah those so are you guys um, travel and yeah we travel a bunch and do all that um i've been skateboarding since i was 11 years old so what am i now 29 now so 18 years uh but yeah i i would rather go skate than play a realistic skating game i so know EA skates then? not that i love the original tony hawk games tony hawks uh one two and three are my favorite obviously underground's amazing i didn't really play four too much but i think this tony is hawk underground right tony hawk underground two and uh what were, what were the other ones wasteland uh, american wasteland there you go i, I like played this. all I played of those a lot. a lot but as far as like my favorites i would probably say like I don't know either Tony Hawk 2 for like the pure fun of just the, like the, the arcadiness of it, how yeah. wacky it is. You can just, you know, it, it just looks so like simple and basic and the controls yeah. are really simple and basic, but it's like really addicting and fun to just yeah. like cruise around grinding, you're like going around escalators and stuff and all yeah. this stuff. And these weird wacky sound effects are going off on the great grind soundtracks. sound effects. Yeah. Yeah. The, the soundtrack is great. Everything. Like when you're grinding, it's like, oh yeah, it's like, like sounds so like that's outrageous. not how real skateboarding is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not even close. So, but like something about that is just like, it makes me like, I don't know. It's like more of a video game. You know what I mean? Well, like, and that's oh, what I tell, that's what I tell people who are into sports. I myself mm -hmm. am not into sports. Mm -hmm. And I say the same thing about sports. I go, why would you want to play a realistic sports game when you can do that in real life? I'd rather yeah, exactly. play so, Blitz or Hang mm -hmm. Time yeah, or exactly, yeah. where you can do things that you can't do. Yes, where it's like wacky and over the top and just like it's, it's something different than like me i i would just go skate but like my friends love to sit there and play ea skate and like do like a trick they can do in real life in in the game i, do, I, do like, that. Like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I know i everyone loves to do that but i don't like when i do it i'm i just don't like it i'm like holding yeah. a controller trying to do it and it just doesn't feel like yeah, something i, I want to do i don't know skater, how to, skater xl yeah. is a new one that supposedly mm -hmm. is very realistic as well i know the guy who made that he lives in he's from nashville actually was it Ricky? right next to nashville uh no it's john west was it gabo no it was not ricky, ricky or gabo i thought you were like well, i thought maybe there was someone who made skater xl or like worked on it that was named ricky i didn't even like think about your ricky and i was you like took me seriously oh, that's your yeah, first problem me <laughs> I was like, yeah um, who's your favorite skater of all time, bro? Favorite skater of all time is Adam Alfaro and uh, uh, I'm blanking right now for some reason. That's okay. uh, Jason Adams. God, I don't Ooh, know Jason how I can forget that. Awesome, yeah. I love Jason Adams and Adam Alfaro. I love classic black label. Uh, Adam Alfaro is my favorite. He just did like tons of wall rides, which is like my favorite trick. Uh, Jason Adams did as well. And they just, I like the way they skate. They, they skate kind of similar to what I nice you know okay. developed into skating myself like random stuff like that and i just always watch their like old the old black label videos are my favorite and i always watch They're their great. parts more than anything uh They're jason great. adams and adam alfaro so good I'd say, i used uh, to love ali bulala oh ali bulala yeah yeah for me I my tops him. back in the day were probably costin mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. probably peter smolik from fulfill the dream on shorties mm -hmm. i used to love that video yeah, that's man. classic and i used to dress like that i used to wear pants that were <laughs> You could fit human bodies wow. in the legs of my pants for sure. Oh man, I used to wear whatever clothes my mom brought home from the store. I didn't care. That's I was wearing issue. some like some uh, you know those like windbreaker type of pants with like oh, the zip yeah, off bro. the zip yeah. off uh, yeah. knee part where you yeah. make them the shorts. Yeah. I wore those and like a random like small billabong shirt. That was looking yeah. goofy. That was yeah. looking so goofy. Yeah, well, whatever she brought home, I was rocking. I did not have any sense of style. I didn't care. <sighs> now I want to go skate right now. <laughs> But yeah, I mean that's it. That's all. That's all we got mm -hmm. today, bro. I just wanted to have you on talk about your bad mouth. And hey, you did very good. I uh, dude, I'm amazed. Actually, I I I let one. It was on the low end of the. And it was yeah. Spectrum. It was yeah. like a. It was nothing. It was a uh, it was low tier. I let one. I tried my best, and hey, I made it. I made it through. I think pretty pretty good, right? Pretty good. Well, uh, <laughs> if you want to uh, go watch a cool channel that is. It's like when you on the on the shoulder that there's like me on your shoulder telling you what to do, and there's Shane on the other shoulder. Go watch that channel. Yeah, no, you bet you guys are fun. It's like, it's funny that, it's, I don't know, I just have such a blast watching your guys' channel. It's so, because you're so opposite of those. My kids are like, what are you watching, dad? I'm like, cover your ears. <laughs> no, I lots don't of yelling, own. lots of uh, just being eccentric. And there is a lot of, a lot of swearing and I, I, hit objects a lot and, and you still get good information though out of it that's what i like you do i, I, I try to give you good information as best i can but you know sometimes but, but you know what you remind me of you you guys remind me of news mm -hmm. that is saying what everyone 
wants to say initially before they go we, we but we can't say that on the internet yeah so exactly yeah yeah you no, guys I mean. are what everybody in the room says when they heard the news mm -hmm. and then they're like oh okay but now let's put it on script you're <laughs> you're what they're what the words that everyone wanted to say that's that's why that's how kind of how i think of it too because it is what i want to say it's just right off the top of my head like boom 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 and then even after i film a video sometimes i'm just like oh wait i I could have said this and this might have sounded better, but it's like, that's just the way it is. It's just off the top of my head. Just like, let it flow. It yeah. That's it. All right. We're right. out of here. I'm going to stop this thing. How long was this? This was 25 minutes of greatness. Tell, tell everybody goodbye, sir. I'm going to stop it right now. Bye everybody. <laughs> <laughs>